So hi guys, welcome. I'm now gonna be talking about uh, another problem I get asked a lot about, and that's dogs not coming back to the owners. Now this could happen in many different ways. It could be triggered by their instinct scent, uh, a scent on the ground. It could be triggered by another dog going into that uh, playful mode or even aggressive mode and it takes off from the owner and they can't get it to come back to them. So I'm gonna show you a couple techniques I use. Now I've got a dog, I haven't had it very long. Um, it was a pet dog. And basically what we're gonna do with this one, we're gonna trigger it because I've just started introducing it to the ducks to, so I can try training it as a farm dog. But it doesn't like coming off the ducks. It doesn't want to come back to me when I'm asked it. So I'm going to show you the technique I use to get the dog back to me. Because you can't, if you keep going back to the dog and stopping it and catching it and dragging you or bribing it, that's the way it's got to carry on. So I want it to come back to me on its own accord for respect of the pack leader asking it. So that's what I'm going to try and demonstrate on this beautiful summer's day here in England. We're at the Great Yorkshire Show. I've just been doing it in front of our thousands of children today about dog behavior so I've got a little bit of gap here and we're going to use this little arena now when you're training the dogs to do coming back when um, when they're ignoring the owner or they're being triggered and taking off we have to make sure we set up the scenario right okay training your dog in a big open paddock you lose all your power okay the dog's triggered by something another dog wants to go and play takes off you're calling your lungs out and it doesn't even look back at you so a bit like horse whispering, really. We, we can't train a horse in a 10 acre paddock. We bring it to a small round pen and we're able to use a technique pressure on pressure off. So what I've got here is a perfect little arena. I'm gonna trigger the dog, the lovely little pet dog I've got on the ducks. And then I'm gonna try and bring it back to me. Okay, that's what we're gonna do now. I'm gonna try and trigger the instinct. Okay, and then I'm gonna try and ask it to come back. Now, I never ask the dog to come back more than twice. Uh, once it does twice, then you're desensitizing the command. So I will be doing some physical kind of pressure on, and then I want to be able to turn my body language away from the dog, and I want the dog to come back to me on its own accord. The reason I use this little arena is because I've got the power. I can actually put the pressure on it. I'm triggering its behavior to ignore me, and then I can actually catch the trigger, put some pressure on it, and get it to return to me. And by by doing it in this little arena, I've got a lot more power than I'm doing it in a big paddock where it just takes off and ignores me. Okay, so we're setting the foundations in on this habit, okay, and breaking the habit of ignoring me so it comes back. We've got the ducks out here. Um, I've got the little dog over here. So I'm just gonna bring the dog over. And this, just a pet dog. I've got no verbal commands on it yet. So all I'm trying to do is trigger the instincts. She's very keen as a pet dog goes. I'm just gonna let her go. Now I've done a little bit of work on her, so I know she's not gonna hurt the ducks or anything like that, but what I wanted to do is follow her instincts. Instincts will kick in. She wants to just bring the ducks back to me. That's a natural instinct. And if you've seen my shows before, I talk a lot about bringing their instincts in. Now she's not quite sure what to do, because she's only just learning. But what she's trying to do is just balance the ducks, keep the ducks at my feet. Now all sheep dogs have this kind of hunting instinct in them. Nobody trains our dogs to do this. Okay, they do it instinctively. This is just a pet dog a few weeks ago. Now it's already ambushing the food and bringing it back to the pack leader. And what we do is put commands on it. Now what I'm having a problem with is her to come off the ducks. Okay, so I've triggered her this habit and now she doesn't want to leave this job she loves so much. So what do I do? How do I get my dog to come back to me when I've asked it? I ask it two times to come back and it doesn't, it just wants to chase the ducks. The instincts are very strong. So I'm gonna show you what I do. I'm gonna ask for her to come back. Her name is Drift. Drift, that'll do. Drift, that'll do. She doesn't come back. So now I'm gonna use pressure on, pressure off. So firstly, I've gotta get her out of tunnel vision. She's totally hooked onto the ducks. She can barely hear what I'm saying. She's run in that kind of lock torpedo mode. So I put pressure on her. Ah, ah. Then I turn my back and I want to call her in. But as soon as I turn my back, she sees that as a time to go back to that hunting instinct. Whatever triggers her, it could be another dog, it could be, it could be a, a, a rabbit smell going through the grass and it's been triggered on the scent. Doesn't matter what triggers a dog to take off and ignore you, you have to bring it in to put the, tr the pressure on, pressure off technique into the dog so you've got that to control it. So I'm going to try it again. So I want her to come back to me. Drift, that'll do. Drift, that'll do. Still ignoring me. So here we go again. Art, art, get in between, art, get in between her and the trigger. Okay, so I'm gonna try it again. Totally not listening to me at the moment. So I'm gonna spot my, wait for my moment. Oh, I don't wanna just chase her around. Art, 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 drift, 
drift. By taking the pressure off her, drift. You're now welcoming her to you, drift. Good girl, good girl. So what I did there, I put pressure on her to break that tunnel vision. Put her into a submissive state. And from that submissive state, I took the pressure off her, I turned my body language away, and that invited her now to come back to me. Okay, if I just totally keep pressure on her, all I'm doing is putting fear in her. So you have to just put enough pressure on her to break the tunnel vision. You're not trying to scare them, you're not trying to do anything like that. All you gotta do is break the tunnel vision between her and the trigger, and then get a submissive, and then take the pressure off, invite her back to you, and she came straight back. I wanted her to work as a partnership with me, with the energy and her body language, so she respects it. She's got her favorite job in the world now, cracking little doggy. She's off hunting again though, so it's practice and practice. It's not gonna work just the one time. I wanna repeat that over and over and over. So I'll need to do this for at least 10 or 15 minutes, and then we, she gets the idea of she has to come back, otherwise the pressure comes off. I start weaning the pressure off, she starts coming back to me as you'll see more and more.